Right now we are in Tirol, in Elmau, in Austria. We are here and preparing for our Dakar 2024. With Emil, some days I feel like he's my younger brother. That's when we have most of the fun, make most of the jokes. But then there's also a professional side when we put everything more on the line. I feel after the years we have done, now, start to find the way we want to do it. There's nothing too big or too small to be discussed when you have enough time. As it's not only about driving, it's a lot more with the nutrition, sleeping, training. Still, when we went to that stage two testing, it's not the greatest of feeling when, um, when you would like to solve everything and you can't. That's why the upcoming test now will also be very important when we go to Spain. We want to try and find this flow and the feeling of the car that we stress the tires less and get more comfort in the car. And the only way to win is to try and learn from everyone and everything in every day. And also to realize you can always improve. Just did the first run, a brand new car, no technical issues. So the guy did a very good build up. This is the best stepping by far, if I would be honest. This is the way to go. It needs to use the full damper stroke. This I have learned today. If you're not using the full damper stroke, you will never take the impact. The game changer was this, what they call set 10. I learned more today, uh, two days here, than 10 years before. I think it was like 1,000 kilometers of testing. I think we made uh, Big steps, the biggest steps are the dampers. But again, we will have to verify this in the race. Thank you very much, guys. See you next week. My entire life of motorsport, since like 25 years, I wanted to go to Goodwood. Always seen the highlights, always seen the cool cars, the cool people. The only thing that felt awkward was to pack the rain jacket. Coming from 45 degrees in Zaragoza to a rainy England, can't wait to drive the car up the hill and see what the fans think about the car. Carlos calling. I was sure that you will also like the 10 because the way the car moves is very, very much uh, different to what it used to be and this harshness I don't feel, so I think that's positive. Perfect. Thank you. Bye-bye. Carlos is a bit excited to know what's going on here. I think it's good for Rally Raid in general to, to showcase our cars, to see the size of it, the design of it, and uh, I think that will generate more interest uh, for the sport. For me to be here and see all the other cool race cars, but also a lot of good friends from the motorsport industry, I'm super excited, I've been enjoying myself a lot. So we are here at the Baja Aragon to get in the race mode again. Racing under test conditions is absolutely essential to work under pressure, to solve difficult situations, and this is what we really practice here. A lot of junctions, so the breaking points and uh, just nailing the rhythm in those simple corners is normally what the times come here. Yes. It is sometimes like a boxing fight, but I am only allowed to receive hits. I can never punch back because when you go in the camel grass or in these rough sections, you really feel that you would like to punch back, but you can't. You only get hits and your body, your neck, your head. It is very physical. And this is when friends ask me if it makes fun to drive the car. And I said, yeah, that's the biggest challenge you have because you do 14 days. It's like doing a full championship, but each day. And you have to somehow nail the setup and the driving every day. And if you fail one day, it's enough that you will probably not win the race.
Yeah, the prologue uh, was okay for us. Uh, the result at least shows that we were fast enough. We were not on the sweet spot with the setup for those conditions and everybody putting in the long hours here in the heat for a couple of weeks. Would have been nice to bring the car home with three solid stages and a good prologue, but this time it didn't happen. The weekend brought some positive, also some negatives. Uh, normally in motor racing we say uh, you, you win or you learn, no? it's, and, and today we learned. Progress is something you can do when you understand what your strengths or weaknesses are. And I think the hardest experience in life must be the way you make the biggest progress afterwards.